Hey guys, welcome back to Minecraft. This is Civic Dude, and I don't even remember what episode we're up to, but that's okay. Who's keeping count anyways? Okay, so let's see, last time I left off, we were, I think, digging out in an enchanting room. You can see that I have been making use of that a little bit. I have needed to enchant my tools a little bit to make them a little bit more effective because, oh uh, man, digging with Stone Age tools is awfully slow, just by itself. Hey Titan, how are you? So, hey, let me show you something. I wanted to uh, show you guys this new slime farm that I built. It's really a simple, a simple spawner. Nothing to it, really. But I'll show you guys. And I needed to uh, use some slimes for sticky pistons for uh, the enchanting room, which I haven't finished yet, but we're going to finish in this episode. So, this is two chunks that are spawn or uh, slime friendly, and the way that I found this is I used a, an app, and I can't remember what it's called. It's something like MC Slimes or I don't know something like that. I'll link it in the description, but I highly recommend it. It's really easy to use. All you do is you go into your level folder and upload your level.dat file, and then you select the x and z coordinates that you want to calculate from and it will show you a grid of the chunks for around that area and which ones of those are spawn or uh, slime friendly and so I happen to get real I measured actually from right here and so I happen to get really lucky that those two chunks were so close to where I was measuring from and uh, they worked great so far I've already made 31 pistons I think I need 30 for the enchanting room that I'm gonna do and uh, yeah, I definitely recommend using that app. It was really easy to use. You just use it in the browser. There's nothing to download or anything like that. And then you just write down the coordinates that it gives you for the for the uh, chunks. And you too can learn how to make slime farms. Sorry guys, that was a little cheesy. Okay, so um, I wanted to try something different for these next few videos to see how it goes. Um, maybe you guys will like it. Yeah, hopefully you do. I wanted to... Um, basically change the upload schedule. Um, I've been trying to do two videos a week and that's been rather difficult uh, with doing recording two times a week. It's uh, very hard to find that amount of time to record that much in, two, in uh, twice a week. So, what's... Oh, I need stone. What uh, I'm going to try and do is record two episodes at a time and instead of them each being about 30 minutes long I'm going to try and make them about 20 minutes long. That way we still get a good uh, number of episodes and uh, hopefully it'll be, they'll still be entertaining. So what we're going to do here is, before I get too, uh, too far into this, is we are going to make a piston powered enchantment room and it's going to be uh, not fully automatic or not fully uh, oh, what's the word adjustable or you can choose three different levels of enchanting but enough to where you can choose either all or nothing as far as the uh, as far as the books go so let's see there we go needed that for a pressure plate and I'm just going to try and start building this as quick as I can so we can finish it in this episode. Oh, let's see if I remember how to do this. Okay, so... Pressure plate goes... Pressure plate goes right here. Okay. Now... Let's see... I need some space. Need some space. Okay. Now, pressure plate goes there. Power then comes down here. Like so. Undoes that. And let me just check. I should have tried to prepare a little bit for this, but you can see this is my... Don't look. This is my uh, practice world. Okay, let's see how 
two blocks and down. Okay. Here we go. Back to the madness. Okay, so there. Like that. Now we need to do more room. More room. And you can see this is where the enchanting tools, the enchanted tools comes in handy. I think I'm gonna need that actually. Okay. Now is it like this? Or like this. Yeah, it's like that. Okay. Now down there, down there. And I think I need to go up now. Let's see. Okay. I'm going to have to expand my little column of isolation here. Let's go get some more stone. I'll be right back. Okay, so let's see if we can figure this out. That's where that goes. And then... Bookshelf is going to go... Right there. Okay. Which means... That... Piston is going to go... Right there. Okay. Now, I know I haven't, I need to fully, or not fully, properly introduce you guys to this new enchanting room. I figured it'd be kind of cool to make it look like it's just in a lake of lava. And, uh, you know, you have to navigate this cool little jumping pattern. And if you happen to fall, it looks like you're going to die. But watch this. I actually just made it a couple layers deep. What in the world? Oh, yeah. A couple layers deep with water breaks and uh, signs. This signs. There's a bunch of signs here, guys. And you just climb back up to the top. No big deal, right? Tell me that's not cool. Okay. Now, let's get this working. Okay, so right here... We have to have a repeater. If I can get up there, I think. Is that right? Yes, that's right. Okay, let's do the same thing on the other side. Okay. Jump. Jump. No. Uh, just do it like this. No. Come back here. Okay. There. Now. Let's see. I'm. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm doing a terrible job of explaining this. This is about the most compact I could uh, find of a way to make an enchanting room. Especially in this space that I need, because this is not a lot of space if you haven't figured that out. Oh, geez. Let's see. Torch there. There we go. And, you know what? I'm going to get confused if I don't do this, so I'm going to... Go ahead and lay out the pistons right now, just so that I know where I'm at. Okay, almost done, guys. Almost done. Except for this back row. And this took me, this design took me probably a 
couple of hours to figure out. So, hopefully you guys like it. I might do a tutorial on it if I get enough requests for it. Do 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 do. So, season four, part B is out of the Mind Ultra Hardcore for the Minecraft server. You guys should go check it out. I've been watching, following along. It's pretty fun. Okay, let's see. How does this work? I need my bricks. Give me those bricks. Nope, that's not a brick. Gosh darn it. There we go. Okay. Now. Uh, let's go check. Hate to get this wrong, you know. Okay. So. Pressure plate there. Down. Down. Space. Do do down another one, then into a block. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Okay. We'll get it, guys. I'm telling you, it's pretty confusing if you haven't done it a bunch. I've only done it obviously once or twice, so still kind of confused myself. Okay, there we go. Invert the signal. Not the bricks. Gosh darn it. There we go, and we will, is that right? <laughs> nope, that's definitely not right. That, oh, ah, uh, I know what I did wrong, duh, 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 will it hit if I go there? So I didn't need that. Okay. Like that. Why is it going into there? I wonder. Hmm. Oh, this is all wrong. Hold up, guys. I'll be right back. Okay, so I figured out what was wrong. Uh, instead of putting the redstone on this block right here, I need to put it right there. And then a torch there, drop it down another level. And then another level, so I can put it into this block and I can get it vertical wiring job going. So now, oops, not what I wanted. So now, redstone will power this block, which will power both of these repeaters, which will then power the corner blocks, which is the hardest one to power. Okay, now, what I need to do is cover up both of these, need more repeaters. I set those to, these to four, um, I found that was the smoothest setting. This isn't the exact smoothest way to do this whole thing, but it still works, so that's all I care about. And crap, that was my only pick. I'll be right back. Okay, so now we're back. Oh, shoot, too much lava. Okay, let me break out some of this lava. Okay, now... We need to place a block there, or redstone there, I mean. There. And I think one more. There. Now we're going to take advantage of, oh shoot. We're going to take advantage of the glowstone properties that um, you guys may or may not know about. Basically, if you place glowstone like that, um, and then another glowstone on top of it like that, this glowstone will still travel upward from below. So let me show you. Uh, did I do that right? Oh, I did that wrong. Dang it. Hold up, guys. I'll fix it. Okay, like I was saying, if you place glowstone like that, 
this glowstone, this redstone right here will still be powered. So, you see how glowstone will go up, but it won't go down? That's uh, convenient for us. Don't ask me why, it's just convenient for us. Okay, now, I've got to start breaking out the back here. so that we can wire up the sides of this little dude. Okay, so we need to go into all of these. Um, just the back two here. So the way that we can do this is like that, and then uh, repeater. Boop, 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 blue repeater, like I was saying. Like, 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 like that. There we go. Is that how I did it? Yeah, whatever. Okay. Like that. And another one over here. Maybe so, maybe not. Get up there. Come on! There we go. Now, I need one more repeater. Or actually, a couple more repeaters. Because don't forget, we still have to do the top. The top is easy, though. It's so easy compared to the bottom. Especially, it's because of the way that redstone works. Not redstone. Yeah, redstone. That's what I'm saying. Okay, I need one, two, three. Cobblestone, regular stone. Okay. Let's go finish this dude up. Now let me, let me show you. You can already see it's starting to work. See? It's already starting to work. So this is good. Now, let's get... I uh, didn't have to break that one, I don't think. Okay, now let's get this all covered up. Redstone going in there. Nope. Yeah, that's right. Like this. Same thing on the other side. Just to make sure I did it right. Haven't done it right yet. And I'm gonna have to pretty this up off camera, just so that it looks kind of natural. Cause that was the whole goal of this thing—to make it look like it was a ruin that was left behind or something. So you'll understand. Oh, dang it! That's not where I wanted it. So you'll understand if I'm not speaking properly at the moment. I'm really concentrating. Concentrating is hard work, guys. Okay. So there's that side. We can test it real quick. Actually, let's just do the other uh, the other side, too. We'll test them both at the same time. That's what good testers do, right? Okay. Now. Wait a minute. Dang it. How am I powering those? I'll tell you how. Just like that. There we go. Okay. Now. There we go. A little bit more. Perfect. Okay, let's test it. Enough of all this talk. Let's test. Oh, I can just go right there. Okay. Yes. There we go. All the bottom is done. Okay, so now, for the top. There's our center. Oh wait, no, I didn't want it in the center, because there wouldn't be any way to get out. <laughs> okay, four, five... Okay, and 
Yes. Oh, shoot. This is not the most uh, bookshelves that you can get. I am leaving out a couple just so that I can get back. Because once I once I uh, engage them all, if I had bookshelf coming down from the top, it would be right here in the way, and I wouldn't be able to get out because it would block me from getting off of the pressure plate. So we're not going to do that. What we're going to do is uh, just keep those, keep those, uh, what am I trying to say? Keep those out of the mix. There we go. Okay, so now we need to go send this wire up. And I could just do regular vertical wiring, but vertical wiring has a delay on it, and I don't really want a delay. So, and dang it, I wanted to do this differently. I wanted a repeater right here, right there, so that uh, we don't lose any signal. No signal. Okay, now we just have to climb. Climb like, like we know what we're doing. And I'm sorry if you can't see, guys. There we go. Always got to remember that there's people watching. It's tough sometimes. Especially whenever I'm trying to find something entertaining to say. Two, three, four, five. Okay, I'm trying to find where the ceiling is. Okay, almost there. This should be the ceiling. And I need a block there. Okay. There we go. Now, let's dig all this out. I'm going to do this in super fast mode so you guys don't have to watch it. So, see you in a minute. Okay guys, so what we're going to do is we're going to start a repeater right here, that way we can make it all the way around and not have to use any other repeaters. And what I did was add a redstone lamp right in the middle so that it will give it like a pot light, spotlight type thing, uh, right over the enchanting table. So that should look pretty cool. So we're going to see how that looks. And I just need to finish up wiring all this up and let's go test it out and see if it works moment of truth guys moment of truth oh yeah perfect that worked out great I like the spotlight too okay let's add some bookshelves bookshelf 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 And this is going to come in very handy because uh, very soon I want to turn the cave spider spawners that I found a few episodes ago, turn those into something useful, which will get me more XP. Because right now the zombie spawner is not working out so great on XP farming. You guys already know, I'm sure, but XP farming is not best done with zombies. Oh, ho, 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 ho. This will be perfect. Yes. Okay. So that is how you enchant, or you make a pretty cool enchanting room. And I'm going to enclose it a little bit more to make it look even better. But uh, I want to thank you guys for popping in, joining me on this. It's been pretty fun. Uh, next time we'll, we might tackle something cool next time. I'm going to leave that as a little spot spoiler or a teaser for next time so stick around guys let me know if you like this new uh, video format a little bit shorter episodes but hopefully still consistently two times a week so let me know in the comments see you guys